Hey guys, Tamno here. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing Skin Aqua UV Super Moisture Gel with SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. This sunscreen is said to be lightweight with a watery texture. It is free of artificial colors, free of mineral oils, free of perfumes, and is a good base for makeup. It claims to be sweat and water resistant, and it comes in like different sizes. Right here, I have it in the 140 gram, and this retails for around 20 pounds, 20 euros, 20 dollars. But I got my for under 12 euros. Links to purchase this will be in the description box. The links are affiliate links. If you like to support me, do shop through the links. Thank you so much as you do so. So now I want to do a hand swatch so that you guys can see what this, you know looks like oh it's really fluid not so fluid but then it's fluid but not as fluid as the la roche posay or Ghani sunscreen i'm going to go on to blend this now <laughs> i'm just gonna let this dry down because it's looking like it has a cast to it but i want to give it some time to sink in then blend again all right i want to blend in now so here's what this is looking like after being blended in to be honest i don't see any shine on my skin it's kind of soft matte in my opinion so my face right now, I have three products, toner, serum, and moisturizer. Direct links to these products will also be in the description box so you can check it out. I know you guys can see a glow on my face. It's just a skincare product I used like about 20 minutes ago. I'm just going to use this to blot my face. Just in case it makes a difference, which I think it does. I'm saying 20 minutes because it took me a while to do my setup. So blotting my face has definitely reduced the glow that you guys could see on my face. So I have my spoon and I'm going to just dispense the amount that I need. I don't know if it's just me, but when I'm using like sunscreens that are fluid, I feel like one over four teaspoons is not enough. It's just me, I guess. I don't know. So this is what one of our four teaspoons gives me. I'm definitely getting a smell to this. It reminds me of ice cream. <laughs> Time to blend this in. Okay, I kind of like how this looks on my skin. I'll say that this sunscreen is thin and lightweight and it has a watery texture. In terms of how it feels on the skin, it feels so good on the skin. At least I just like how it feels. It's not radiant and it's not matte on my face, but at the back of my palm, it sort of feels matte and we my body is dry so that's understandable matte but not a dry matte so dry skin would definitely be able to use this however if they find this too matte on your skin they should definitely use a very moisturizing um, moisturizer if that makes sense in terms of how this smells it reminds me so much of super yugo it's a yogurt and um it does have like a tad bit of alcohol scent to it when you're blending it in you're definitely going to perceive the alcohol scent but it's not overpowering whatsoever this sunscreen is actually fragrance free and when you're done blending in um and it dries down the alcohol scent does fade away what type of sunscreen is this this is a chemical sunscreen and the sunscreen filters are octinosate you know a plus you know t150 and tinosol s other ingredients include arginine, hyaluronic acid, glycerine, and so on. 
does this sunscreen sting the eyes to be honest it hasn't stung my eyes yet and i've not worn it for up to 30 minutes so i'll just let you guys know if it does sting my eyes throughout the course of my day in the description box or on the screen so that you guys are aware now i'm going to take you guys outside so you guys see what this looks like with natural light <music> So you guys just saw what this looks like with natural lights and it still gives me that natural you know finish on the skin i do like how my skin feels not tight not you know sticky it just feels good if that makes sense so i do like this sunscreen i recommend it to all skin types if you are thinking of picking it up to pick it up it is dark skin brown skin friendly and it's gonna be a very good base for makeup if you're wondering i just don't want to apply makeup today but i can tell that it's a good base for makeup in terms of peeling this hasn't peeled but if anything changes in regards to um eye sting and peeling i'll let you guys know in the comment section or in the description box so i wanted to add that this sunscreen doesn't have lock like you know there's some sunscreen that there's like a lock motion going at the top like open and lock this one doesn't have it so make sure you do not throw away the white stuff that comes with it that you clip in because if you don't the sunscreen is going to spill everywhere so i just thought that i should show you guys what this looks like when i reapplied on my skin uh, maybe because i want to see if this is going to peel or not right now this is what i look like after two hours of wearing the skin aqua uv super moisture gel on my face and um, i'm not really shiny to be honest but you can see the shine mostly on my nose and here upwards has the shine so to reapply what i normally would do is block my face with a paper towel i'll do one side first so you can see the difference or the difference So after blotting this side, you guys can see a clear difference between both sides, right? So now I'm just going to do the other side. So now it's time for me to reapply this sunscreen on my face. Time to reapply. So this is what my face looks like after reapplying this sunscreen. So this has gone in nicely into my skin and it still gives me or still leaves me with that skin like finish. It could likely sting one's eyes but it hasn't stung my eyes and after reapplication this sunscreen hasn't peeled. So it doesn't peel like it works well with like other products that i have worn today let me know if you use this sunscreen i'd like to hear what you think about it so some of you have asked me how some sunscreens react when i sweat while wearing it i really don't sweat that much to be honest except i do like take part in exercises and i only do exercises or sports at night i obviously will not be wearing sunscreens at night so I can't really tell you guys but in regards to this skin aqua or this particular sunscreen i'm going to leave um chooks review do check the link on the screen and in the description box so make sure you do check out his video and also subscribe to his channel and um that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did find it helpful please give this video a thumbs up like it share it subscribe down below please subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys thank you so much for watching and do have a wonderful wonderful week